to another episode of Duncan Rampa 3 Killing Harmony and in this episode I'm pretty sure some, someone's gonna die soon so and, and I'm kind of excited for that so let's let's get into the game I don't remember what we were planning on doing maybe we're going to the library I mean that's that's always no that's not where we usually go but I feel like oh okay Suichi of course my boyfriend always always gotta go to him first right okay Huh? No response. I wonder if something's the matter. Yeah, honestly, at, at this stage in the game, I'm just gonna tell you like what what my thought process was, process was when I first played this game. When he didn't respond, I was like, Suichi's dead. But who? But is he dead? I don't know. But it at this stage in the game, I was like really worrying about everyone's safety. Come out. <laughs> What's taking you so long? Exactly. Oh, thank you. You finally come out for me. I only stood out here for like five hours. Okay. Ah, Kaede. Kaede? Yeah, Kaede. Good morning. Jeez, finally! You came out! You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. I was just going to the bathroom. Is, is that all you were doing? Okay, I'll believe you. Are are you ready then? We have to get the cameras from me, right? Remember? Okay. Yeah, right. Oh, so we're going to see Miu. I obviously had no idea where we were going. But I, I know where Miu is. Yeah! You guys! Uh, Angie. Hey, hey! Have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to a Tua with me. Oh, geez. W what? You you shouldn't be giving up so easily. You know what? Sometimes I, even though I don't really like Angie, and I feel like her her religion is a little sus. <laughs> Sometimes it's very it's very peaceful to you know be able to rely on something, okay? Just to pray and, and feel peace within yourself. So like even if you do die, you're you're okay. And I, I I wouldn't even say that's necessarily giving up. Like I'm just saying, if there's nothing you can do, then at least being at peace with the fact that you don't have control over that is kind of kind of okay in my opinion right <laughs> oh true true but, but... you two get along so well it's, all, it's almost like you like you guys got a thing going on i was hoping it rub off on the others in the dining hall um, huh what are you talking about has spoken. in such dire times why won't they stop fighting huh? fighting Hmm, they're fighting in the dining hall. Atua's really bummed out about it. Uh, fighting in the dining hall? Yeah, I mean, these are our final moments. I mean, pe people might start acting crazy. <laughs> Suichi, can you go get the stuff from you? I have to see what's going on. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, I got it. Um. Angie, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, let's stop it together. Who's fighting with who though and why? Hello guys. Now, now what's wrong? Tell me, what's wrong guys? What's going on here? Oh, oh Kaede, perfect timing. <laughs> I really don't know what to do, Kaede. We almost started talking crazy. <laughs> all, <laughs> all I was doing was making a suggestion so that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. You know what? He's talking logical. Like, I, he didn't explain himself first, but I, I let him finish. I'll let him finish that explanation. Let's talk to you. What's up? So that more people can survive? Yoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? 
Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know? That is true. The only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? What? Now hold on a minute. Kill me. Kill me. Oh gosh. Huh? That's that's so that's one heck of a suggestion. Like, wow. Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either? I'm saying I'll give you guys my life. I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong. No way. We promised we'd all get out of here together. <laughs> I hope it end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. Another. There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? He's kind of got a point. But you know, any anybody who's not used to killing, they they be against us. It's like no, I I feel like shit <laughs> for the rest of my life if I if I let this happen. At least if someone goes out of their way to plan a secret murder, you could at least be like, well, I didn't have a part to play in that, but this people have a part to play. Like they kind of got blood on their hands because of that suggestion. I'm like, no, I wouldn't do it. No, it's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for this situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty hopeful suggestion. I mean, who knows if they, they'd even be able to do that, but you know what? That, that's at least the best plan I've heard. How about it? If you've got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Um, um well, I mean, I, I, me and Suichi have a plan, but we can't really say it to anybody. So, your plan sounds like the only one we got. <laughs> what should I, what should I do? Maybe if I share Suichi's plan with him? Ryoma will change his mind. Actually. Ryoma, there is no need for that. Mm -hmm. Whoa, he kinda he kinda looking. I don't know, I kinda, it looks it looked a little hot, but <laughs> uh, but you know, I think that's supposed to be like a very intense, kinda creepy look, but you know, I kinda dig it. I'm going to end this game. There is no need for that, because I'm gonna end this game. I've made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You're going to end this game? How? How? Pr tell me! How are you gonna end this game? Hey. It's not about outboxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However... I mean, yeah, that is the real goal, I guess. Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh yeah. I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Then. And how will you end it? You understand the time that expires tonight, yes? Haha, <laughs> <sighs> sorry. Can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you I'm mean? Just what I said, I'm going to end this game. Get it? Whoa, look at look at that face. I, I don't remember him having a face like that. Well, uh, so don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, all right? I got this! You see my face? These eyes? It's the look of de determination, okay? What? Unnecessary. You've still got Bruh, still you, even that look, Ryoma? I think he's been to prison, and he's like, "Wow, I don't, I don't know if I want to mess with this guy." Huh? When you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Got it. All right, I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. Okay. Bye. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. That's a shame. Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope he. I helped him calm down a little. Um. Anyways, Rontaro, were you serious when you said 
You knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? What? How should I? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Prayer time. Okie dokie. Then Angie will pray for your strategy success, Rontaro. You'll get punished. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? Man, and, and she's got that. She, she's really creepy. Huh, now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Hmm? Actually. I guess I have to do my best. Rontaro left, but what he said had me really affect had really affected me. But ending this game, is that even possible? We can only see if we try. I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game? I mean, I, I, I find it so entertaining. Why would I want this game to end? <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe Rontaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only a Tua knows. Only a Tua knows. Okay, I guess. Rontaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can or else I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Suichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? I mean, who are you asking? You're the only one talking to yourself. Um, yeah, let's leave. Ah, Gonta! <laughs> I don't know, whenever I see these people, like just standing there. I don't like how it's designed. It kind of keeps me out. This is why I can never play a horror game because I'm too easily freaked out. But horror movies are okay, surprisingly. They're they're really okay. I feel like games are different because it's the added factor that I actually have to do something myself. <laughs> when play when playing a horror game with a movie, you're just watching. Sorry, I'm late, Suichi. No. Uh, it's alright. I just got here too. Um, How did it go? Did Miu finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. It, that's dedication, you know? Anyway, here's the result. C kinda looks a little, a little crap, but it'll do the job, I'm sure. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Mm. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yes, Mew thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. So, once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered. Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. I mean, good, they're silent, but I'm just saying, look at these cameras. I'm sure there are better cameras, like I've seen better cameras for like, the spying. These look like you could see them very easily, no matter where you put it. like. It, it, especially if you're trying to get like a good angle, I, I feel like if you're if anyone's just casually looking, it's like, wow, there's a camera right there. But you know, I'm not gonna mention that, okay? I'm not gonna mention that. I see. They're completely silent. This is perfect. Well. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. And do these cameras have flashes? That's. Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But, but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed though. You modified them to our specifications. Then, 
All right, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. I mean, it's a good spot. That's all I can say, it's a good spot. Huh, tell me about this classroom. Is that all right? Yeah, I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um, that's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. I mean, essentially if that's the only route to the basement, but we don't know if that's the only route, but continue. It, it is still the best plan he can come up with, with, like with the little information he has about the entire school layout. This is, this is probably really good. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Oh yeah, you're right. We can give a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey. There's one more reason I chose a specific classroom. One more reason? Why I have to talk to you? You could have just said it. Hey. You could have just said it. It's because of something, something that's only here. This vent, right? I already know. I know this game, so. Uh, Is it a vent? That's. It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? The smell of gorgeous books. Okay. After Suichi told me that, I leaned closer to the vent. Uh, oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Well, it's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Remember the duck we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. I don't remember, but of course you do. But a vent in a classroom? There's an odd design. That's an odd design choice for a school. Uh, then again, everything about this school is odd. Uh, um, this vent is un is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. Hmm. I don't think I could fit there. May maybe Ryoma or like Himiko. Those are like the smallest people, so I think it might be a possible thing if they're, if they're squeezing. Well, maybe I could, but it, it'd be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyways, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> My heart is racing. I mean, yeah. Are we going to the, the basement now? So where did you want the place want to place the cameras? You're right. Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And if we place the cameras to face the moving bookcase, okay. yes, the camera will capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then, where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance, entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one, of, one at each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? But how about over there? Uh, didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey. Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person a could actually fit through? That's... I think it'll be fine since we'll be keeping watch in, in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high. Hmm? I need something to stand on. That big ass ladder? Oh, I can probably use this ladder. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. 
Whoa. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, but Suichi's there to catch you if you fall, okay? Do you want to switch? Nah. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? Why, why are you asking? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, huh? So you did see them. Well, whatever. He cannot see them. Anyways, this is the bed. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? Okay. There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Okay. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. And then I looked in my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? I mean, her hand looks like it can fit through. It looks a lot smaller than I thought, actually. Hmm. It would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. Maybe it's just the perspective. I don't know. But in comparison to her hand, I'm like, okay, I guess someone could crawl with a hand that big? I don't know. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well... We'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. Yeah. So that should be okay, right? Definitely. Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I began to arrange the books around the vent. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? Kaede, what's wrong? There's a lot wrong right now. We're yeah. gonna die. Uh, this will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it'll it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ballad about I can't say those words. Ballads ballads. You know? Actually. I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um... y you really think so? Thanks, Kaede. I... It really it touches my heart when you say these things about me. Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind, and then we'll all escape. All right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then... Yeah, so I think it'd be a good idea to set up the cameras between books, so that... Oh, hold on! I have an idea! Well, it was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. Ah, uh, but with all the books back on top, I don't think... I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase to see if I can make room for a camera. All right. That way, we won't waste any time, right? I mean, stacking all those books sounds like a huge waste of time. Like, how many books are up there? But you know what? Do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And I swear, this if Suichi spends just as much time putting up the sensor as you do stacking books, I say this guy is taking way too long, or you're just, it's too, that's another talent Kaede yeah, has, like, that'd be the only other explanation, like, her other ultimate talent is being a book stacker. All right, all right, let's do it! I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are mo way more books here than I expected. I mean, were you not looking? Bruh. Uh, the top of the bookcase is covered to, to covered end to end with cluttered stacks of books. Oh, right. This is nothing. I, I like the positivity though. As I move the ladder, I reorganize books bit by bit. Gee, 
Geez, there are too many books. It might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. I thought so. No. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. I continue moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Geez, these books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Wait! Ah, uh, Kaede, is this really time to be reading a book? Uh, sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. Uh, after I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there are too many books after all. I can't really make space. You can't really make space, can you? Aww. It'd be easier if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. You're right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the camera. Aww. Except that design is really eye-catching to me. Then I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, um... No, I don't. Uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Why did you stop her sooner? Oh well. Aww. Oh, and here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that all right? So about the places to put the cameras. We decided to place the sensor on top of the moving bookcase, and the camera link to it will be set up right here. Yeah, the, that way it'll capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. I see. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here in this bookcase is good. They should have to pass by here no matter which door they used. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the se security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then... Uh, let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase and We'll set the camera near each door. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. Wow, he still he didn't do it. He waited that all that time for me just to stack books. Or or what? I, I don't know. With that we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookcases. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Yeah, I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important so I gotta do it right. Yeah. Wow. Okay, whatever. All oh, right, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught in on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. And signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably. It'll definitely work. Then... All right, then. The final step, turn on the sensors. I see. All right. We should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a ton. Oh, there's a 10 second delay as it starts up. So we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if it took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering down the cameras, 
while powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Mm -hmm. Now, we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> I mean, maybe. You don't know if someone's doing a little stabby stabby. Okay, but whatever. Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. You're right. Uh, that's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. It's coming down to the final moments, guys. Final moments. Whew. Get ready. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, okay, Kaede. About the security sensor receiver. Hey. Could you hold on to it, please? I feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Are you sure? You're the detective. You should have like a steady hand. Know how, and you know how this thing works more than Kaede. Probably. But, but you want her to hold on to it? If it were me, I'd be like, no, no. You're the detective, you you do it. Ah, uh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you should hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with this plan and I trust you. Um. Also, Suichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyways? Yeah, you know what? Catch him for that, Kayede. Catch him for that. Because he has such low confidence. Huh? What? You know? I guess it's a good... It, I guess it's good that we have some time left because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um... Talk to me? Yes. Let's, let's discuss it. You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Okay. Especially since the ultimate initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. No, really, I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... But one day, I came across a murder case completely by chance. I mean, how by chance is that, really? Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They called me the detective boy. Or but boy detective. I read that backwards. That's when I got scattered by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it's still amazing that you solved the murder case. Most people can't do that. Yes, most people can. There's there's a system in place. You obviously know how to gather evidence. Like, there's things that you did that led you to catch the criminal. So, I mean, that's all I can say. And good job. I wonder. I wonder if uh, it was really a good thing I solved that case. The look on his face when we caught him, I can still see it even now. He, he looks rather aggressive. He stared at me like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later, I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. Mm -hmm. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. Okay. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. Everybody can have their own opinions on whether whether something is deserved or not, but as as a person of law, as a detective, your what you did was was the perfect thing to do. Like it doesn't matter what what reasons are. If you kill someone, there's punishment for that. But I think that the reason why this probably affects Suichi so much is because he's young and not and not experienced. Okay. And seeing someone look at you with hatred, yeah, you know that that sticks with you. 
even though logically you could be like, well, this is what I know I should have done, this is, but experiencing it at a young age, yeah, that, that probably affected you a lot. <laughs> but he led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. But I feel like there's no reason for him to feel sympathy for this guy. Like, it's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault. And I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that day, that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... Uh, anyways, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. But th that's, that's actually really sad though, because he, he's too young to necessarily be solving cases like that. Like, it, it, it's a heavy burden. I'm... Oh, I think I forgot to, to read that, but I, I can't... I'm not on my controller, so I, I, I don't think I can bring up that line again. I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Suichi's hand were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? Aww. It's such a sweet moment, though. I wish there was a piano here. <sighs> I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. You noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. Yes, please, Suiji. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. Man, all, all I can say is even though I made jokes about them being boyfriend, girlfriend, I, I can tell you that moment in the game so sweet makes me want to cry who I after letting go of his hand I quickly changed the subject yeah that's right. it was getting a little a little too intimate Whew. okay also I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat huh? oh look at him blush what are you talking about huh? what I'm serious here once we get out of here, I want to show you, I want you to show me what you look like without that hat, okay? Uh, geez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano to see the smiles on, on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. Man, that, that was the sweetest moment. The sweetest, honestly. Out of my, in the entire game, in my opinion. After our serious talk, we call, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course, but all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer, and this, and then suddenly the moment arrived. Huh? W what is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. Oh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Oh. Wait, Kaede. 
I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? Huh? People talking? Yeah, people... What's happening? I focus my attention on the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls heading down the stairs. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro too? Yup, a whole bunch of people. The seven continue to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantara was with them too. Didn't he say he would end this game? He did claim that, but who knows what that means? Hmm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all heading to the basement now, could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gunta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro? One of them is the mastermind? No. It is unusual for such a big group of group to all go to the basement. No. They're not planning to go to the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? Alright. I'm gonna check out the basement. Uh I'll, I'll come with you. No. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. With that, Suichi dashed off. Out of the classroom. Um. Huh? Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. jeez. Oh, yeah, honestly, if I was here in this situation, I was alone with that cr creepy music playing in the background. I'd be like, okay. Hopefully no one comes into this classroom to, to kill me. Wow, I, I wouldn't know what to do in this kind of situation. I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. I started cleaning for no reason at all. I have to move my body. The anxiety was really getting to me. Suichi, please come back already. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Suichi finally came back. Hmm. Man. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Oh, oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, okay. Everything is okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? What's up? Ding dong. In one, ever, one hour, everyone dies. Thank you for the notification. Hmm. There's only one hour until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happened so suddenly. Oh. What? Okay, someone's in there. My heart le nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Suichi's hand suddenly went off. Uh, S Suichi, the receiver. Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. Wow, things are amping up. Suichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Uh, well, wait for me. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Suichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Ooh, this music is amping up. I can feel the tensions rising. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ooh. Uh, Kaede, let's go inside. Yeah. Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had balled up my, fist, my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Suichi, who had his hands in the door. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Stop talking to me! We're trying to catch a killer! Stop! <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I, I think I was being too rude. Hey, hey, Kaido. Sorry. Well, never mind. You guys are 
Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Kayeda is definitely gonna welcome to join. Huh? A strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game room. Hey. Uh, hold on! Both of you come with us! The mastermind is in the library! Yeah. Huh? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? He, he real serious. I don't really understand, but you just need me to I kind of throw whoever's inside, right? right? No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Honestly, I kind of trust Tenko's fighting ability more than you, Kaido. Even though your enthusiasm is, your enthusiasm is welcome, okay? Oh, I, I like the initiative you're taking. This isn't a competition. I'm going to open the door right now, okay? Yeah, let's go! With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. Okay. Door open. Do you see that camera right at the top left? Like, I don't know who who's not going to see those cameras. But you know what, apparently? No problem. No problem. I'm sorry. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where's the mastermind? We quickly walked towards the moving bookcase, and then, not too far from the moving case bookcase, we saw... Yup. Yeah. Wow. It's our good boy, Rontaro. I mean, I, I played through it, so yeah. I, I was very upset when I saw him die, because cause I didn't hang out with him that much the first, like, for the first chapter, so I was like, wow! <laughs> I, I don't have any more opportunity to get to know this guy, but thankfully in this one, I guess I got to hang out with, with him just a little, and he was a cool guy. A cool guy. But unfortunately, he was gone. And I also think there was another reason why I was I was really surprised is because I thought, yeah, there's a mystery about him. Like he doesn't even notice Tantas, and then he dies. Like no, there's there's still some story left for Rontaro, but he. So I was like surprised that he died so soon. But I guess it, I guess that was a good opportunity though. Uh, Rontaro, Amani who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us, lay dead on the ground. Yo, He real dead. Whew. But I mean, mo most people play this game for the murders, right? I, even though it's kind of like sad, but... What in the world? What the hell is going on? Right after Tenko screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What happened? Go to hear scream. Huh? Ah! Blood! So much blood! Oh, me, oh my. Huh? Isn't that Rontaro? What's wrong with him? Bro, his skull got crushed. What do you think is wrong with him? Angie, come on now. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> huh? What? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. Wow, a Angie's a riot, though. <laughs> Like, even though I find her creepy, I somewhat like what she brings to the table and all her creepiness. 
Uh, how can you be so calm? Suichi examined Rantaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. I mean, we got this death, like, animation usually, usually to tell us, yeah, this guy's completely dead. We're too late. He shook his head. No. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead. My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me, but out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rontaro here? And... The moderator is off. To signify that, we did it. We survived this one. It was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantara was. Well. This means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? K killing game? And someone killed Rantara when? Uh, Wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because. The mastermind. Rantaro was the mastermind. I mean, we all know would would end the game way too quickly. I think no one can believe that Rantaro was the mastermind. He was killed, killed in cold blood. Uh. What? The mastermind? Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended, that's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this, and if he's dead, huh? What? Yeah. Monokuma. Oh. Yup. Everyone, please gather in the library. What's up, Monokuma? Nice to see you. What a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out! Huh? Monokuma? But how? You didn't kill him. <laughs> I, I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there, there cause the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. Uh, how? The mastermind controlling you is, is, is still alive. Does this, that guy, that guy over there? The one with the, the crush skull? Uh, unfortunate victim. <laughs> Huh? By mastermind? Do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And you think it was Ron Taro? That's hilarious. Like, do you see me right now? <laughs> what an imagination! Of course that's wrong! If the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over. But the victim was Ron Taro Mani, the ultimate. Who cares? Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Suichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? No. He, Monokuma is wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rontaro the mastermind? Huh? I mean, how can he? I mean, as the ultimate detective, like, let's, let's take our personal feelings out of the equation. You see Monokuma walking around just fine. What, what do you mean that's... If, if the game is still continuing, then there, there can't be any r room for doubt here, Suichi. Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? But who's to say that that's some mastermind? If there was any other person as smart as Suichi... Like, you're, you're really basing this, this guess based off of the idea that no one else is as smart as Suichi in this aspect, and able to find out that that bookcase is able to move. Is, is all you're saying, so whatever. Whew, wouldn't that mean he was trying to use that hidden door and that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why was why is the killing game not over? Uh, um, why, why is he dead? It's no use. 
It's no good. I don't know. I don't know. Suichi? Ah, the pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the camera we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. The rest of the gang is here? Rontaro, but why? Oh, th that Rontaro! Oh, thank god, I thought that was a pile of dirty rags! Bruh. You give, give my boy a little more respect in his final moments, okay? A little more respect. I see. <laughs> I see. So this ended up happening after all. <laughs> my, my, what a world this is. So full of jokes like this. Oh. What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rontaro is Oh, I mean, it's killed! Stop it. That's the same thing. I mean, no, that's not necessarily the same thing. Finding someone dead does not necessarily mean they were killed. Okay, but in this case, he, he was killed. Hmm. Hmm, how ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy that wanted to die survived. Either way. So, how can someone explain the meaning of all this? Huh? Nah, an, ex an explanation isn't necessary. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that that just be a waste of time. There has to be a class trial. Everybody who, who plays Duncan Rampa would be so disappointed if we had to wait like a whole other chapter just to go through the most, like the best part, which is investigating in class trial come on now with that said if you're the black and who killed on trial raise your hand what? the the one who killed rontaro degenerate male. i knew it a degenerate male killed rontaro didn't he wait how do you know boy do it i, won't forgive you. I just know okay violent crimes are almost always committed by violent disgusting men Okay, go off. I, <laughs> I mean, what is that dumbass? How dare he go and get himself killed? I I don't think he wanted to get himself killed. He was he was doing the best he could, and and something unfortunate happened to him. Don't don't kick him in while he's down. He's real down right now. Who the hell did it? I'll freaking punch you into orbit. Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating classmate with warm farewells. Oh, what's up? It's getting interesting. Or send them off with hospitality like a bunch of catty popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the project process then we're gonna bust out the exosols. Oh, oh I'm not gonna look. I don't want to look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Nothing beats crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw in a wedding every now and then but funerals are insane like fishing with dynamite. So so whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah! I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. Racing. Then congratulations! Would the black kid who's about to graduate please raise their hand? What? What the? No one's raising their hand. You bastards! Hey, did you hear me? All the blackened has to do to graduate is speak up, you know. Dot dot dot. I mean, I prefer this outcome. Don't raise your hand. Hmm. No one's stepping forward. What's going on? I see how it is. The blackened has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Excuse me. Very well then. I will give the black and what they want and hold a class trial. Wow. Now this is a spicy twist. 
Whoa, 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 wait, what the heck's going on? Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so, so you bastards can find Montaro's killer. Killer. Gosh. Get it right, and only the blackened will be punished, but if you get it wrong... Si simultaneously surgery! What? <laughs> I did not say that word right. Simultaneous surgery! Brain and knee, then the brain surgery again! My heart's racing. Everyone besides the blackened will be punished. Everyone besides the blackened? Everyone. This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Kills, kills, kills. But before we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Jeez. So, you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves, too? Mm -hmm. Of course! The investigation is what makes the killing game so good! And he's not wrong. You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth. <laughs> the Blackens' heart handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Alright, the trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. So long, farewell. Bye, <laughs> guys. Ooh. Let's get going then. Wait. W wait. Where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rantaro's death, right? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I don't want to be annihilated. Girls should be allowed to live at least. Nah, we're we're all for equality. If we so we could we should all bear the punishment equally. Or or bear the, the fruits of the labor of our good investigation together. I'm just a cute, normal girl who can use magic, you know? You know, anyone who can use magic, I don't think you have the right to claim that you're normal. But at the end of the day, you don't, real, you don't do real magic, so, you know. I guess. Why you? You're the last person who should be calling herself cute. I mean, I I agree with Himiko. She's kind of cute, you know. I mean, her attitude isn't isn't always cute, but she ben. she ain't looking that bad. Do not fret. Just imagine this has something out of a police drama or a detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Suichi. Uh Okay. R right. Impossible. I'm in trouble. I've never watched a police drama or read detective manga. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We need only converse with the corpse. A corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes, by coming face to face with the corpse, I will. You will learn a great many things. <laughs> Same, Tenko, same. Why are you getting so excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually. But is, is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are one of are one in fifteen. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. I mean I think that depends. But sure. That's not the problem here. Who the fuck? Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you, or or maybe you? Slow down. Don't don't be pointing at everybody now. Uh... Mini mini my Nemo. Who's the killer? Only a two knows. Nice one, Angie. Nice one. <laughs> you no can choose that way. How exciting! Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Ah, uh, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Yup, bring us all together, Suichi. Let, let's start getting serious now. Huh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. 
We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all our trust in each other. Yeah, and, and if we're just throwing accusations, we're not really studying the case, like, objectively. Okay, we need to look at the body, look at alibis, like, there, there, there has to be a system to this. If we're just acting in chaos, then we don't get anywhere. But we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder, not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. And I mean, and at the same time, one person can, if, if it's a short time, one person can't necessarily look at all evidence. Sometimes you have to rely on evidence that someone else brings. So I, I understand the concept of, to a certain extent, you gotta trust other people. Because at least only one per you're assuming only one person is going to be lying to you in the investigation. So you can at least trust most of the information other people give you. Hmm. Ah, did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, you, you said something to bring people together. That this is the first that that was the first step towards confidence, my friend. You were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... Oh, no, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're, you've are you become really reliable. All right. I agree with Suichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say, but in a more eloquent way. <laughs> Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. Wow, thanks, Tanko. I, I really felt that in my heart. I really appreciate it. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Gonta. Gonta not smart, but not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. I, I will work hard with the two's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. I will do my best. If this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. Okay. You can leave it to me too. I'll find the culprit in no time. I mean, it's I, honestly, I trust in uh, Kokichi's intelligence, but I don't trust in the fact that he'd actually help us lead, get anywhere in terms of finding the culprit. Phew, I'm glad no one's gonna give up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rontaro died for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. I mean, we'll, we'll all escape yeah. except for Rontaro, right? So, let's get started. We need to do this. I'm so poor, Rantara won't have any regrets, and so that we can survive. Okay. Yes, let's find the culprit who killed Rantara. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Suichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against the class trial to protect everyone. This isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but it's okay. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. You again? The fuck are you doing here? Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. This is giving me the heebie jeebies. What is that expression of yours? Okay. Da 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 da! A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. Like a death note? Gosh. Could it be the death note? Whoops, my bad. It's a monocle.
Kuma file. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? Let me explain. The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the blackened because that would ruin the trials. I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know? Thank ya. Monokuma file? Like hell I'm gonna believe something he made. No. Whether we believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents, no? Atua has spoken. He says we should take our eyes off of the monopad. Why? Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. The victim is Rontaro Mani. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. To my greatest regret, it doesn't say what his ultimate talent is, but whatever. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blood force trauma by the to the back of his skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Monokuma file has been added to the truthful section of your monopad. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? Yeah, that, that would be a smart assumption, I think. But if Rontaro wasn't the mastermind, then who was? Actually, I don't know. I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rontaro was really dead. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rontaro. That's Mastermind? I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Kaede, please. please explain what's going on and spare us no detail. Yeah, yeah I will. So we should explain to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hiding among us, and that the trap we had set in the library to lure them out, and that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check and discovered Rontaro's body. Understood. I see, so that's what happened. I was not aware you two had such a plan. So you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit. You know? But why would you keep something so important and secret from us? <laughs> Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Y yeah, that's right. But... But if though if there are cameras, won't this case be solved really easily? Aw oh, man, that's so boring. Wait! Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. Uh... The culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then... Alright, let me get the cameras. Suichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and uh, rushed back to everyone. Honestly, those... I mean, let's be honest. If if the pictures show the culprit, that, that'd be way too easy for the class trial. Way too easy. Okay, I've got them. Well. It was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because... Well, I really didn't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember, here are these three cameras. Uh, um, well, we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Uh, allow me to perform that task. That's amazing. I uh, should we let one person perform that task? I mean, we'd have, at least have to have one other person with you while you perform that task because. You know, it could, it could be you, right? Wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? I heard everything you've said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? Huh? I'll develop the photos so you bastards focus on the investigation. Because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't put into our hour. 
But she ignored my objection, walked up to Suichi and took the cameras from him. I'm a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Hey, give those back. No need to worry. We all have we all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Wait, give the cameras back. It was pointless to yell at her. Monofumi left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my! Aw, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry, I was being careless. Um. It probably okay. She say she developed photos. Then give photos back. Right? She'll she'll do it as simple as that, but somewhat I somewhat trust that she'll she'll follow some semblance of the rules of the game, so That's right. But she said she had, and she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Cause Atua is watching over us. It's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy for those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now, we've, we're just in a bigger mess. I, a mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Uh, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. Is that alright? If it's alright with you, could we keep working together during the trial? Like we're doing now? Aw, look, look at him. Look at huh? him. Suichi? I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I I want to help you. Shuichi. Of course, with you by my side, it'll be like having 100 people helping me. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff. Like, y'all y'all can get a room. So let's just get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually, it takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? I like the I like the suggestion. In other words, if we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try to destroy evidence, right? Huh? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us, <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any, any evidence. My apologies. I do not intend to avert offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kurumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. I should investigate a little more. Yeah, I wasn't trying to leave, okay? It was a mistake. Okay, I guess it's time to start investigating. I'll talk to little Ryoma. Well, if you are the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? You mean uh, already? We 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 just started investigating. Huh? You, you might have like suspects, but don't don't go saying I already know who the culprit might be. Uh, what exactly? T tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. I mean, but what what good would that do? I'm telling you. Oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? 
Maybe, but maybe he just doesn't want to tell anybody. Ah. Uh, Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? Wow, he, he really digging deep. <laughs> That's how it looks to me. But. But with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> uh, and let me just warn you, the way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. And that's very true. People who be speaking the loudest. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's just the way it is, so. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? Uh, what, what do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. As it should be. Sometimes testimonies, because they're they're based on humans, which are, are very complicated creatures. They're not just like solid evidence. That, that cannot be lied about, so. Testimonies without evidence should not be. I mean, they can be considered, but they, they can't really give anything concrete. So let's talk to our good old maid. She's, she's, she's pretty intelligent. Uh, why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the perk? Yeah, when I first played this game, I was kind of like, why did the culprit not come forward? Like, did they not know that they killed someone? Like, it, it was a bit of a surprise, but at the same time, I was like, thank you. I really look forward to trials, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I am not trying to go through another chapter just to hang out with people. No, I, someone needs to die, and I need a class trial. That's all. Huh? What? The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, but to kill everyone here. Huh? Whoa, that's a, that's a gruesome perspective, but... Possible? Is it kind of possible, I guess? Uh, everyone? That is correct. That would explain why they would forgo their survival in favor of a class child. Must be one crazy ass killer. Like, they were like, I don't care about my survival. I'm gonna gamble. <laughs> I'm gonna gamble with my life, with my freedom, just to fuck everyone else over. But that's that's kind of crazy. Um. Uh, but doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. I feel like it's even less plausible that way. Like, it's supposed to be an interesting game. Not not just to kill everyone at once. But they don't know that. Well, true, killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. Mm. So, we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Good words. You know what, I need- I, I kind of don't want to talk to people, I guess me. Me is kind of- Rashy skank. Don't talk to me, cock itch! I'm fucking busy! Wow! Okay. So rude all the time. Miu continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun dun dun! It's a prone! Um. Uh, a prone? Um. I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If it's if it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the Gan 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 Lion Alliance to destroy humanity! I have no idea what she's talking about. You know, same Kaede, same. Mm -hmm. this, let, let her have her fun. W what? Wait a second, the controller is... <laughs> and now you're getting it, dick cheese! 
Bruh, stop talking about people's dick cheese. Gross. Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mila Ruma. It's a drone. A drone. I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. What is a drone then? I absolutely don't even know. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Mm. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> at, at least it's somewhat useful. That's all I can say. Drafting a floor plan with photos? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! You, I can't do shit about that. Just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Oh, uh, bro, shut up you! My chest is way better than your nasty cow udder! <laughs> oh, go, go, Kaede! Tell, tell her like it is! Bro, no, no one cares about your size, and Kaede, Kaede's pretty- look, Looking like it's, it's pretty well developed, like, I don't know what- <laughs> I don't know why she's always trying to make fun of, like, basically the second biggest, like, boo person. I don't think I said that right, but you know, she, she's like coming in second. It's, it's pretty, they're pretty big, you know? Man, what am I even talking about? But, but, but tell her, you know, she, she needs to be put in her place a little. Uh, uh, udders? Udders? Yeah, udders. What are you going to do about it? You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Yeah. Kinda is. Kinda wanna touch it, but you know what? No. We're gonna go inspect the body. Or the moving bookcase, maybe. The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way. You guys set up a security sensor on top of this book bookcase, right? Uh, okay. It, it, yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Suichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't you your receiver go off when you move it? No. Uh, no, it's all right. I turned off the receiver. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can turn it off? Okay. Uh, yes. I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Receive around Suichi. That's some good stuff. Can I ask my boy to move out of the way? 